Now, um, today we're going to be doing some air raiding, but we're going to do it super cheap. Uh, <laughs> people think that I... Oh, over here. Oh, you, you're still on my camera. Just, 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 just back, back, back. Anyway, so um, people think that air raiding is an expensive practice, um, which doesn't have to be. There's, there's two different types of air raiding. So there's uh, coring. So there's coring, which is um, you've got a big coring machine and that digs in and pulls out a bit. And that's actually a bit better than air raiding because it actually pulls out so your lawn doesn't condense underneath. But um, what we're going to be doing today is just your standard air raiding, which allows water to get in because this section here has got dry because the uh, when it gets watered, it doesn't actually go into the roots. So what we're going to be doing is stabbing small holes throughout it. So when we spray it with the um, sprinkler, it actually goes into the roots. And then um, the next video we'll be doing um, a watering agent to make it you know, go even better. So um, I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. Uh, this is a real cheap um, bit of kit. All we're going to use is this. All we're going to use is, uh, 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 is is this, not not the kit, the um, the pitchfork. And we're going to um, so you can get a pitchfork from Bunnings or um, from anywhere really. Um, garage sales usually have some. And all we're going to do is we're going to um, stab the ground with it. So, um, let's get cracking. So yeah, with the pitchfork, you don't have to go all the way down. Like you don't have to go right down the center of the uh, pitchfork there. You just need to go about halfway down, get it down to the roots, because the roots in the lawn aren't that far down. They're only about halfway with the pitchfork. So I'm doing the one-legged technique here, getting it some speed on. <laughs> Not sure what's going on with those meerkats, but uh, you know, Lily was helping her in her own way until you know she goes over and starts destroying the bloody succulent garden. But um, yeah, so that's basically the basics. And we're just going over the same spot again. I'm only doing this side today because this is the only side that's uh, looking a bit sad. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what those cow noises were either. It's, um, it's a bit concerning. I might call the police. Yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, yeah, no, there's cow noises on the uh, YouTube video. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So I don't know if you noticed that, but when I was doing this section just under me, I'll show you. Uh, this part here is really compact. It's hard. There's no there's no springiness in it at all, and it's because the uh, the sun's got on it and it's um, kind of fried it. So what's happened is if you look, I can't, even doing that, you can't really get to the soil. So by doing this, what it does is it gives a hole. It goes all the way down into where the roots are. So the water, oh, I'll get you back up here again. Yeah, yeah. So um, what happens is the, the water goes down that hole, it goes down to the roots and the, the plant gets watered. Um, it also gets air because you, your grass needs air like a human down at the roots so um, it helps that happen as well um, coring is a lot better and we'll do that in another video later on but uh, at the moment just to get this grass back because this side I'll show you this side here has gone dry all of it has gone dry because it's out in the middle of the sun and we're restricted to two watering days a week we're over there it's nice in the shade and it's nice and green it's just getting a little bit of getting its watering twice a week and it's also got a little bit of shade to keep it out of that midday sun so um, it's cranking over there. If you do this over here, look how deep this will go. That's just my, finger, my, bloody, my foot going in. So it's um, a lot healthier on this side. So the job this week is to um, try to get it looking the same. So I um, hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to aerate your lawn with a pitchfork. Um, yeah, just go out, get yourself a pitchfork. You can't afford like a proper aerator, this is the way to go. Um, it's good for small areas like this one. I wouldn't even bother getting a, an expensive aerator if you're just doing a little square like this little section here. But if you're doing uh, big scale ones, there are bigger ones you can get and we'll uh, go through that on another video. But uh, that's the cheap man's way to aerate your lawn. Probably do it a bit more than I did. Probably go across, what I would suggest is you go across in lines like you do with your lawn mowing. So you, you go backwards and forwards, so you, you do your lines and then do that twice. So you've got a nice bit of aeration happening. And then you can also, if you want to you know, mess it up a little bit, just do um, some watering agent on top, which we're going to be doing in the next video. And then, uh, yeah, you can chuck some topsoil in there if you want to get that into the, into the roots as well, but that's up to you. Catch you later.